What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. I have an awesome video today showing you how to show an instructional GIF when you hover over a button or an image. This is actually a mix of a couple of tricks. One trick from the Guy in a Cube channel where they show you how to display an animated GIF when you hover over the visual header tooltip icon of a visual. And the other trick being another video on my channel where you're able to show a report page tooltip over any visual. So putting these two tricks together, we're able to create something that looks like this where we hover over this question mark icon and it's going to show you an instructional GIF to give the user some more information on how they might set something up or how to interact with the visuals. Just a quick heads up in case you're interested, we're looking at the XViz Gantt chart visual. It's a really great visual that we will be covering in depth on this channel, but I just wanna let you know in case you're curious about what we're actually visualizing here on the screen. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into how you might set this up. It's actually pretty easy to do. So I'm gonna go over to a new Power BI file. So I have my layout set up, but I don't have anything working on the background. You can see that as you hover over, it's not actually doing anything. So the first thing that you need to do to set this up is to import a GIF into the Power BI file. Following Guy in the Cube's tutorial, you simply need to open up a new tab and go to the page formatting options, and you will see page background, and you see that I have inserted a GIF here. So if you hadn't inserted one before, you can just click this X and upload a GIF directly, and it's going to show in the background. Next, I have changed this page size to a custom size to give it more of a report page tooltip feel. It's a little bit bigger than a standard report page tooltip size. Just keep in mind that you can change this to size it how you want based on your GIF size. And once you have that set up, I'm also going to go to page information and turn on tooltip. So tooltip is now on, letting Power BI know that this should be used as a report page tooltip if we call on it. So now going back to the first page, if you click on the question mark icon, you'll see that this doesn't have an option for report page tooltips. This is actually an image of a question mark icon that I've uh, imported in here. It's not the default Power BI question mark icon. Let's go to the button and the question mark. We can actually insert this one in. This will work interchangeably with these two, but for this reason, I'm using an image. So the next thing you have to do is insert a card over this image or button. So let's do that. Let me click on the background and let's get a card. And this card is just going to go right on top of it. So let's put it right there. Next, I'm gonna create a new measure. I'm gonna call this tooltip text. And let's go ahead and load that up, tooltip text. And I actually wanna provide this right now with capital W separated by spaces. So you might be asking why I'm doing this. I'm just getting an idea of where our characters are going to show. So that will do just fine. Let's go ahead and click enter. Let's throw this in our new card. So let's click on that card. Let's throw in tooltip text. So we actually don't see much there. Let me go ahead and change some settings. Let's turn off our category label. I'm gonna make my data label much smaller. So let's change it to 20. We see some W showing up there. That's working just fine. We may actually wanna make that even smaller. Let's make it like 12. So we see plenty of W showing up there. So the reason we have to do this is because if we want a report page tooltip to show, we actually have to be hovering over some data. So we actually have to hover over those W's or spaces, but I just wanna get an idea of how big those characters are going to show in my card. So with that, we can actually set up the report page tooltip to fire when you hover over it. So we can turn on tooltip and let's come down here, report page, select 2T, which is our GIF page. And now when we hover over the W, we will see that GIF starting to play. So that's working perfectly. The next thing I do wanna change is we actually don't want Ws here. We actually want all spaces. I just wanna get an idea of size. So let's go ahead and make this about the same width, but just with spaces. So something like that. That'll do just fine. And if you watched my previous video on report page tooltips over any videos, I did use Ws, but the problem there is if you're using Edge or Internet Explorer, those Ws are actually going to show. So use spaces instead, it will always be blank, but will still work when you hover over it. So that's perfect. And then the last thing you have to do is actually just make the entire thing transparent. So we can do that with turning off the background. And now it's like the card doesn't even exist there. So we can hover over and we have this nice custom GIF that's giving us some information on what we need to do with this visual when you hover over that question mark icon. So you can resize this card how you like to make it fit over certain text or anything. We can actually make this um, fire if it's over the entire thing. Probably need to make the text a little bit bigger if we're doing that. So let me go ahead and copy and paste this several times. Let me just give us some more space here. 
So now our blank string is very big, should be able to cover some good portion of this text box, and it sure does. So yeah, you can just do this over any visual you want just by throwing a card over uh, basically whatever you're trying to hover over and show instructional text. So just another quick recap, the first part of this trick, uh, getting that GIF into a page background, definitely check out uh, Guy in a Cube on their awesome video on how to do that. They're an awesome channel that teaches a lot of stuff about Power BI and DAX. And coupling that with this kind of method to show report page tooltips over any visual, we can create some really cool how-to instructional GIFs to really guide your report users on how to navigate your report or how to set it up in case you're teaching them how to do something. So if you like this video, make sure you check out my training over at training.bielite.com. The link is in the description and I will see you in the next video.